This is the second in our series of videos on allocating costs for service departments. We'll be using uh, the same demonstration problem, problem 4-26B, and we'll be using the step method. In the step method, we are going to begin by allocating costs from one service department to another, adding those costs in to our costs for that department, and then allocating them out to our service departments. Okay, so how do we begin? Well, it's really company policy, uh, but best, best practices is to look at the different service departments and see which departments provide services to the most departments for the company. So let's take a look at our problem here. We have our computer services, or IT. They provide support services for all the computers. So in addition to their own, they have computers assigned to maintenance, forming, assembling, and packaging. So they service four outside departments. The maintenance department, in addition to using machine hours uh, to do the maintenance routines, uh, they provide services uh, on those production equipment for forming, assembling, and packaging. So IT provides services to four departments. Maintenance provides services for three departments. So the logical place to begin then is the IT, since they service the most. So what is our objective here? Our objective is to fully allocate the $90,000 in IT costs to the departments that they service, the maintenance, forming, assembling, and packaging departments. So we're going to use as a basis to establish our allocation rate the number of computers outside of IT uh, that they service. So the number of computers is going to be the computers in maintenance, forming, assembling, and packaging. And that's a total of 60. Next, we'll figure out our allocation rate by taking our cost, dividing it by our base, and we will have an allocation rate of $1,500 per PC. So let's put that in our worksheet. The weight of the base will be our number of computers that are assigned to each department. Let me show you a little Excel shortcut when you have information that runs across that you want to put down vertical, up and down. Let's go to the computers that we're going to use as our base. We're going to ask it to copy. And instead of pasting, we're going to hit special paste, and we want to transpose. Now we'll simply take the allocation rate, times it by our base, copy and paste that down for each of the departments, then sum them up, and we see that we have fully allocated out this 90000 Now that we've done that, we can turn our attention to the maintenance department. Now, for the maintenance department, in addition to the $100,000 in cost that we see, we're going to have to add in the allocated cost from the IT department. Why? Because eventually all of the service department costs have to be allocated out to the operating departments. So we are going to add the allocation we came up with before, the 22500 to the 100000 and we will now use machine hours to allocate the operating cost plus the allocated cost. So Again, we're going to take the total of the outside departments. We are not going to be using as a base the number of 
uh, hours that the maintenance department uses. And we have 10,000 hours. Our allocation rate is our cost divided by our base. And we have a rate of $12.25. So that goes into our worksheet. And now our base is our usage. And again, we can do the copy, special trade, paste, transpose. Take our rate, times it by our base. And copy, paste. And then sum up. All right, so to wrap up, when we are looking at our allocation rate, for the basis. We ignore any usage by the service department that we're allocating. So for the IT department, we ignore the number of computers that they have. For the maintenance department, we ignore the machine hours that they use uh, in performing the maintenance services. So let's go down now and compare the step method to the direct method, which we used in the prior video. We're going to look at the uh, allocation in the step method. And compare that to our direct method. All right, so here's our worksheet for, to make this comparison. We want to see the allocated cost of computer services for our operating departments only, forming, assembling, packaging. So let's go up to our worksheet. And we're going to ask this to copy. And again, we're going to use that special paste and tell it to use values. All right, so that gives us the computer cost that was allocated to forming, assembling, and packaging. Now, if you were to stop right now and add these up, they would not total 90000 Why? Well, because 22500 of that cost was allocated to the maintenance department. That 22500 will be contained in the allocated costs that came out of the second step. So, again, copy. We can special paste the values only. And now, to get the totals, we add the two service department allocations. And we will know that we got this correct if the allocated costs equal the total of the two departments. And they do. And that's our allocation. As we can see in the direct method, the allocations are different than those of the step method. So the choice that a company uh, takes on which method to use really comes down to how they're going to use this information. If this is going to be used to manage uh, pricing, uh, we w would probably be very comfortable using the direct method. Uh, if we wanted uh, to uh, implement a performance evaluation and we wanted to hold uh, those areas, those service departments, uh, to uh, controlling cost, we would probably want to use a method uh, like the step method. There is a third method that actually produces probably the best results for uh, performance evaluation, and that is the reciprocal method. Uh, the reciprocal method uh, uses uh, solving of simultaneous equations, uh, while the math uh, is sometimes a bit uh, challenging, uh, using computer technology the, you know, that which readily available, uh, that is probably the more uh, frequently used method. And we'll have a separate uh, optional video uh, available on the reciprocal method.